It's now time to choose from these three finalists who is going to be Ireland's Entrepreneur of the Year for 2007. I think entrepreneurs are people who, uh, who feel they can change the world and uh, that, that somebody's got to do it and they're the ones who are going to step up because nobody else is up to it. There's a very fine line between success and failure. And to be successful, you have to walk very close to that line of failure, and you can't be afraid of doing it. I think awards in business at every level are important. Um, I think people work very well having good credit and praise and, and that sort of thing and being and commended for what they do. Ladies and gentlemen, three outstanding category winners, and I'm sure you'll all agree, but only one name can claim the honour of being selected in the 2007 Entrepreneur of the Year. So that's the question on everyone's lips. Can you please now welcome to the stage the only man who has that answer, Mr. Paul Smith of Ernst & Young. Ladies and gentlemen, the calibre of all of our finalists tonight is a tribute to the ingenuity and imagination of our nation. But the judging panel has identified one to be honoured above all. The tenth winner of the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year is Liam Casey. Liam Casey was quick to recognise the economic rise of China. He invented a world-class supply chain production model to exploit its true potential. For building a truly global business, Liam Casey is the 2007 Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year. So, as I was saying earlier on, I was reading an American magazine I was flicking through it and a big piece on China and it said, Mr. China, an Irish guy called Liam Casey. How did you do it? Great team of people. <laughs> <laughs> um, hard work and a great team of people. And, you know, when I filled out the forms for, for this um, event, um, there was a question. Um, has your Irishness helped? Not alone has it helped, it's everything. We're, the Irish are really liked abroad and it's something that we can take advantage of and the Irish abroad can can be great you know if we can forget about the tribunals and go out work together as a team <laughs> Ireland Inc can be huge and when you say that I mean, when you say that how do you see that happening because when you go to China and Shanghai everyone tells you well China's a big threat but you've done the opposite. You've actually made it a great opportunity. It is an opportunity. In every threat, there is an opportunity. Um, and we focus on you know, what we're good at. In the company, we focus on what we're good at. And it's customer service, it's speed, it's charm. <laughs> and tell me, you know, when people say Ireland Inc. And, and that Ireland itself can actually be a global player, which we are, how do you mean that? As a nation, we are extremely competitive. Okay? If we can take that competition, that competitive factor, and apply it as a team, as Ireland Inc., and take it abroad, we can win. The Irish abroad can win, for sure. Big round of applause, Liam Casey. <laughs> the upstanding for the winner, Mr. Liam Casey.